And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay. We are here. Here, here. We are here. Excuse me, folks. We are here because we are not there. If we were there, we wouldn't be here. You, you know what? That's very, that's very smart profound. of you. You profound. were a smart cookie, man. That's profound. profound. I always knew we were uh, deep philosophers as well as broadcast journalists and, 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 and soldiers of the progressive liberal army. Uh, you know, warriors, that sounds better. We are, we're like the Knights Templar. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Welcome to Uncensored, Hard-Hitting Truth. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. And uh, we are coming to you with a new show. Actually, this is the very first show of <laughs> February 2015. Wow. Okay. And... Uh, we're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and I would like to introduce my illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Who didn't get enough sleep last night? Well, I got sleep. Uh, I think the magnesium tablet did a good job of it. I got some sleep, all right, but I slept so soundly that I slept through the most obnoxious alarm that any alarm clock could ever uh, blast off. I slept through that. And when I say obnoxious alarm, it goes like this. It's not a chime. It is not a jingle. It is not a song. It's not the radio. It's this. Yeah, like the that. New ones, the new ones are usually like... Beep, 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 no, no, I'll, I sleep through that. <laughs> I would sleep through that. No, but, but a loud... I usually... 99.99% that throws me right out of bed. But for some reason... I don't Maybe know Maybe buy one of those old traditional ones with the bells on top. I used to have the one. wind up ones, and then, and then they don't they they don't they don't make the racket they did like in the old days. Uh -huh. They're cheap, How like everything radio? else made in the U.S. How about the radio? Well, the volume would have to be no, on. No, the radio alarm. You know, when it, the alarm goes on, the radio comes on. I could, and you got I, ten ten winds on there. I could listen. I could set it for <laughs> loud volume, but the, nothing beats. <laughs> To, to really ruffle your feathers, you know? But it didn't wake you. I don't know what happened. Maybe the, maybe old Beezlebub may, uh, caused the alarm not to go off so we cannot get the hard-hitting truth out there in the universe and into cyberspace. Anything's possible. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, if an evil spirit could throw, could hit a guy in the middle of his back with a wrench, and throw things across the room. Who the hell did that? Oh, it happens. If you watch that show, The Dead Files, ah, with know. Steve De DeShavi and Amy Allen, who whom I salute, the both of them, congratulations. I think the show is now five years old, maybe more, to the both of them. Steve DeShav, <laughs> uh, DeShavi, a former uh, uh, New York City homicide detective, and I think he was a, a Marine, and then... Uh, Amy Allen is a medium who talks to the dead, who can see spirits. How can you talk to the dead when they're in the grave? These people are having experiences that are very real. So things, you're calling God a liar? Things thrown. No, he's not a liar. Yeah, he's not a liar. a liar. You don't think any? You don't think a demon can throw something across the room and hit you? No, you change the subject now. I just said she can't talk to the dead because they're dead. They know nothing. Well, maybe they're in the grave. Well, maybe, maybe they're. It's possible He's that talking to demons. Maybe they're demons in disguise. That's correct. Of dead people. If she's talking to them, the right. dead are dead until their resurrection. Even David is in the grave. 
It's the same Valentine's Day massacre on our wallets is coming soon. What is it? Oh, February fourteenth. Yeah. Same Valentine's Day. What seven? Seven. Uh, same Valentine's Day massacre. Well, it's next week. The massacre on our wallets. Uh, but anyway, I'll dedicate the show to the to uh, uh, the both of them, Amy Allen and uh, Steve Deshavi. Uh But anyway. Um, was I gonna say? Oh, I want to say, I want to send my greetings to my near dear, very close friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho, and also hello to f my friend, w former WWE superstar, uh, Mr. Ken Thiessen, and a personal trainer extraordinaire. Greetings, and also greetings to the one and only uh, Eric. Doyle of um, the Long Beach Kettlebell Club in Long Beach, Hello. California, and also uh, uh, Unconventional Asylum for the Unconventional Athlete. Greetings to the great Eric Doyle, and also greetings to my probably the best administrators of Facebook groups you can ever have, Mr. Asash Boyle and Jolton. Joe Stebbins and Anthony Laura of, uh, of Everything is Food. I send greetings to all three of them. Um, and uh, I'd say, I'd say that's about it, really. All right, so what we're going to do here, since we have many fantastic, very deep readings. Uh, uh, that we are going to sink our teeth uh, into these readings very early because we got some blockbusters. I was going to bring an appliance that prematurely died on me, very similar to the um, toaster. The toaster that melted, that um, uh, um, sunbeam toaster that m literally melted. Uh, we've had other American appliances burn out, but you know, uh, this one I'll I'll save for next time, the next show, next week, for the Chisler's Hall of Shame. <laughs> and it was it, it, this time it's our Mr. Coffee Drip Coffee Maker, mm. prematurely dying, and 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 just uh, it's it's it obvious that's a piece of shit. Wait till you hear the story next time. Because I, I slept through the alarm, which means I got up late, which means I didn't have time to get the Mr. Coffee and bring it over here. But we have enough to talk about. I just want to show people that for you health conscious folks um, that feel that eating healthy, eating organic, you know, is beyond your means, it's too expensive. Well, here's a product that I picked up at my local supermarket, ShopRite, and it's an organic whole wheat rigatoni imported from Italy. Uh, Gia Russa is the company, 100% whole wheat rigatoni. All right. One pound, not 13 or 14 ounces. One pound, like the old days. I, what am I going to do with 14 ounces of macaroni? I need a pound. Screw someone. Oh, I got the corkscrews too. Speaking of screw someone, I got the the, the fusilli, the corkscrews, because, and I got the rigatoni because rigatoni is the most chewy and it holds the sauce well. Al dente of all the yeah, because it's thick. But anyway, and of course I got the whole wheat. Linguine. All right, all right. How much did it cost? Hey, uh, hey, linguine and uh, spaghetti, and a couple bucks. Couple of bucks. Yeah, you're getting healthy, whole grain, whole wheat, organic macaroni. I wonder why you're not they... getting that shit. You're I not know, getting that crap why? that's on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you're not getting that shit that's on sale. But why do we have to pay more for organic? Which uh, is the natural way the thing grows. You're right because. Doesn't it take more manpower? Yes. Doesn't it cost more money to refine yes. to refine a whole grain flour, to denature it, to make it refined, 
So why would the whole wheat pasta cost more than the refined semolina? Bingo! If the refined semolina takes more uh, uh, manpower and more time to make, because it has to be refined. Whereas the whole wheat semolina, all you do is you grind the whole wheat and you make your pasta. Bingo! That's it. Because it's 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 that old conservative crony capitalism. It's capitalism. They 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 see something special that you should be eating that makes you healthier, and they jack up the price just to fuck you. How does that? Well, sound? who's jacking up the price? Somebody's doing it. Not the sellers of the uh, of the uh, organic. They wouldn't do that unless they were forced to. Something fishy's going on. Yes, with there's something fishy in the in the American food industry. Yes. What sir. it is, uh, you know. I mean, something that is natural should be cost less. Right, because it because it's, le it's less involved. Less work involved. Yeah. yeah. You know, anything refined is going. And you don't have to buy pesticides either. Right. Anything refined. It takes more time, more manpower. You have to pay your employees more to refine a natural food than it is to leave it alone. Same thing with brown rice. Why is brown rice more expensive than white rice? Uh -huh. You don't have to kick off the, uh, 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 remove the bran from the rice now. You leave it alone and you, you just package it. You know, it's like, um, Remember when um, the craze was a oat bran was good for you, yep. lowers cholesterol and all that jazz? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, oat bran was, before the news got out that oat bran was healthy, oat bran was always dirt cheap, like many other food yeah, items. Exactly. Then all of a sudden they jacked up the price of oat bran. No. They did the same thing to omega-3 fish oils. Yeah, and resveratrol and CoQ10. And, and flaxseed. You go on and on and on. Flaxseed oil used to be called linseed oil. I and painted it was, with it. And I remember, oh, you can get a bottle of Hanes flaxseed ca capsules. Hanes. Hanes or Hanes? Hanes. Oh, Mr. Hanes? No. Oh, gee, Mr. Douglas, I got something to sell you. No. No, it's Hanes. Okay, yes, Foods, I Los Angeles, California. It, we, for four bucks, you can get a bottle of of, of uh, cold pressed flaxseed oil. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, the news got out that flaxseed was good for you, mm -hmm. and they jacked up the price. There you go. So, the retailers in this capitalist society are either deregulated, like everything else Republicans do, deregulated, allowed somehow to take some good news connected with the product and use it against you, use it as an excuse to jack up the price sky high and fuck you over. There's more massacres on our wallet than just St. Valentine's Day massacre, people. Right now this is the, the mug I'm using because my other mugs dropped and broke. So oh my I'm, God. I'm using, well I get my mugs from the dollar store, so. Get a plastic one. Nah, there's nothing like a nice shiny a metal ceramic one. mug, come on. A metal one. Ceramic mug. All right, listen, let us sink our teeth into these readings, because we got a lot of good readings. Bottles of Walmart brand Echinacea. An herb is said to ward off colds were found to contain no echinacea at all. Does it surprise me with the Walton family? It does more than ward off the colds. It, it's, it, it, it very effectively stimulates your immune system if it's real echinacea. GNC brand bottles of St. John's wort touted as a cure for depression held rice, garlic, and a tropical houseplant, but not a trace of the herb. Fraud. In fact, 
DNA testing on hundreds of bottles of store brand herbal supplements sold as treatments for everything from memory loss to prostate trouble found that four out of five, 80 percent, contain none of the herbs on the label. Extremely unethical, complete consumer fraud. That is all that was allowed by our system. Instead, they were packed with cheap fillers, such as wheat bran, beans, or house plants. The cheapest fillers they can find without poisoning you, but they but won't do you any good. And you're paying you're paying uh, 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 herbal extract prices for crap, for nothing. It's like a placebo pill. Uh, based on the testing commissioned by his office, New York Attorney General Eric Snyderman said on Tuesday he has sent letters to the four major store chains involved, GNC, Target, Walmart, and Walgreens. Walgreens too? That's correct. Demanding that they immediately stop selling adulterated or mislabeled dietary supplements. To put it mildly, their crux is what he should have said, blatantly. Schneiderman said the supplements pose serious risks. Well, they're, they're fake. <laughs> People who have allergies or are taking certain medications can suffer dangerous reactions from herbal concoctions that contain substances not listed on the label. Yeah. This investigation makes one thing abundantly clear. The old adage, buyer beware, may be especially true for consumers of Herbal supplements. Why should the Why should the the one of the most popular conservative adages um, have to apply anyway? If the if the government should be uh, doing their job as a police dog and making sure people are not getting robbed. Well, that then we're back in the snake oil days, ain't we? The FDA, the USDA, they don't mean anything, do they? Why should you, you can't trust them. Bingo. As someone said Absolutely. on Facebook the other day. Can't be trusted. Like the USDA certified certified organic label. You trust that? I don't. Uh, 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 but the thing is, buyer beware. You, sh you as a consumer can't afford to, or why should you, for that matter, have to take everything you buy to a laboratory and have it tested and assay everything. Yeah, and right? assay everything. That's our job, right? What uh -huh. about the, what about those people that are paid uh, in the FDA and USDA? Shouldn't they be randomly testing? Yeah, but we keep hiring corporate uh, people to do those jobs. You know they don't want to do those jobs. They're in there to make government smaller. To party make it inadequate. System. To party system is a fake phony fraud they're crooks they're corrupt they're on they take bribes they're on the take why do you people continue to to have the attitude that only a two-party system career politician is qualified to run this country or state your state you continue to put your trust in the career politicians of the two-party system who hire Michael Taylors from uh, what Monsanto to run the FDA? That's Therein a, lies uh, the problem. Isn't that like having the fox run the hen house? Incorrecto, mundo. The herbal supplement industry criticized the method used to analyze the samples and raised questions. About they, the reliability of the fight. Of course they did. Just like uh, the Walton family uh, denied responsibility for ramming into uh, a Tracy Morgan's limousine. 
the driver, that is. The store chain with the poorest showing was Walmart. Of course, the greediest scum of them all. Where only 4% of the products tested showed DNA from the plants listed on the labels. Spokesmen for Walmart, Walgreens, and GNC pledged to cooperate. Of course they pledged because they, because they, they, got hand, they, they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar. With the Attorney General, Target said it wouldn't comment without reviewing the full report. Oh, they have to review the full report? Either it's fake or it's not fake, the, the capsules. You know, what is there to review? Arthur Grohlman, a physician and pharmacology professor at Stony Brook University, yeah. called the study a well-controlled, scientifically-based documentation of the outrageous degree of adulteration in the herbal supplement industry. I told you this was an important reading to, to, to start, kick off the show. A 2013 Canadian government study estimated there are 65,000 dietary supplements on the market consumed by more than a 150 million Americans. The nonprofit American Botanical Cons Council estimated 2013 sales of herbal supplements in the United States at six billion dollars. It's not even as much as the uh, porn industry. Yeah, you're but right. But hey, you know. And just think how many years or decades have these um, been going on? Nutritional supplement companies or, or, or even over the counter pharmaceuticals. How, how many years or decades has this been going on where people were unaware of the, of the, of this uh, 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 dishonesty, this fraud? And then, and then they buy the product, they use the product, and they say, hey, this product don't work. Well, of course it don't work. It ain't the product. And I've heard people tell me... And then they blamed herbs. Yeah. And I've he I've heard people told me they they took what I recommended uh -huh, it didn't work. and it didn't work. Yeah. And and all the while they've been ripped off yeah. basically and um, yeah. uh, um, you know you <laughs> that's why it's it, it's always good to buy from a reputable company. These, well, I'm sure the suppliers are reputable. It's just that the companies ain't putting in what they're supposed to put in. Well, you know... You know why? You just held it up. You just held it up. The shillelagh? The Roman uh, rigatoni. Oh, okay. It's the same bullshit, ain't it? The 14 ounces and the 13 ounces. They don't want to give you what they're trying to sell you. Well, it's... It costs no, more. It's normally 16 ounces. Yeah. 16 ounces of, of organic whole wheat pasta is a uh, uh, cost less for a company to to make than than um, than the refined, uh, you know, the uh, uh, 14 ounces of refined pasta. So if they don't give you what they say they are giving you, they make more money. Well, naturally. For selling you crap. Well, yeah, it's okay? like uh, that's what it's all about. It's even like a like a. a, a a drug dealer trying to sell uh, 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 watered down, stretched out, cutting the heroin, heroin or cocaine, cocaine. Cu cutting it with something else. Right. You know, put there, some uh, what did they put talc in there or whatever? Some of them things. I don't know, but what all I know hell? is it's fraud. So you uh, you can uh, would you honestly agree that this is consumer fraud? Of course it is, but Mr. Schneiderman did not approach it that way, did he? No, he... He sent them a letter giving them a chance to correct the situation. He, he handled it with kid gloves. Uh, that's he, correct. He, he, he partially sugar-coated it. And, and I think it, he had a... Um, as a Democrat, he had sort of a, 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 a corporatist approach not to offend them or ruffle their feathers. When yeah. they should have been yelled at, insulted, they should have been called crooks which is punished. what they, punished, punished, punishment, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So these companies, including the the failure to get tough by um, Mr. Schneiderman. Schneiderman. Yeah. What's his first name, Eric? Uh, I put it away here. All right, Mr. Schneiderman, Attorney General of New York State. Yes, 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 Mr. Shame Schneiderman. on you, Eric Schneiderman. Eric Schneiderman, shame on you for um, making nice, nice with these companies, and of course, our inductees into the Chisler's Hall of Shame for this week's, for the first uh, show of February 2015, is Walmart, Walgreens, uh, Target. And most uh, shockingly, GNC. GNC. Very shocked at GNC. All of them are in the Chisler's Hall of Shame for this week's show. Shame on you people. You're despicable. Um, did I get them all? It, 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 Target, Walgreens, Walmart, Walmart and, GNC. and GNC, which shocks me most of all. Well, if they got those big four, there's probably others. That's yeah. what that's what I mean. There's probably others, and who knows how long it's been going on. Mm -hmm. So you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I know I know we have a Chris Christie in this somewhere because I have one more, uh, 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 not so complimentary, uh, uh, caricature. <laughs> of Chris Christie that I would oh, like to no. use on the front cover of the show. Oh, so I, no. I know you might have one or two Christies in there somewhere. But anyway, we'll get to it. Governor Christie <laughs> vetoed a bill on Thursday that would strengthen Buy American statutes for state and local governments siding with vigorous opposition from the business community in the face of union support for the legislation. Ah. Christie explaining his decision said, the bill would chill international development and increase costs borne by taxpayers. Yeah, why is it, why is it, why is, why is that more important than what goes on in this country? Huh? Yeah. Hmm. What about the jobs it creates in this country? And the taxpayers that it creates in this country? Why the hell do we, hell do we care about international development? What is that? TTP and, uh, and, 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 and NAFTA and GATT and, and, and CAFTA and, and all the other bullshit? Trades? That only drain us dry? that are not good for us, but Mr. Christie, a state governor, a governor of a state, should worry about international development? And another amazing hypocritical fact is that Republicans uh, always behave and uh, they always act so concerned about the, uh, the taxpayer, the middle class taxpayers, who are the real taxpayers, worrying about them paying is where they, 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 they've they increased the taxes on the middle class taxpayer in reality because the rich are not paying their fair share. That's correct. And I couldn't get over that that banner I found about this like over 400, 400, oh, I think it was like close to 500 billionaires. In 492. United, billionaires in the United in States. In this country. In this country alone. That's a lot of taxes, that, that, a lot of revenue that could be collected. Well, whenever we drop the tax rate down to the 20s, like with, uh, 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 who was it, Harding or Hoover and, 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 and then Reagan and, uh, yeah, uh, et cetera, we had hard times. We had hard economic times, yeah. that, uh, joblessness, et cetera. Right. Whenever we raise them up, things were better. The economy boomed. Boom. Yeah, skyrocketed. It's clear. It's historically clear. It's historic. The rich do not create jobs by having lower taxes. No, no. Okay? The numbers speak for themselves. That's it's correct. Statistically. But people who don't give a shit about history, of course, they don't learn these things. Like teabaggers. Yeah. 
No, it's obvious that uh, a, a high tax rate on the rich causes the economy to boom because it puts money back into the pocket of the true consumer, which is the little guy. Yes, we must never forget how the economy works. I make something, I put it for sale, you buy it. And if you don't have the if money... If you don't have the money to buy it... I mean, no sell. No sell. And guess what happens to my company? Belly up. Belly up. Thank you. No ticky, no washi. That's it. Clear and simple. Clear and simple. No ticky. There's no ticky because uh, they, they can't afford the washi. Hold on. No the, ticky, dicky. The levity bells. We gotta, we gotta warm them up. No ticky, no washi. Can't afford the washi. Hey. All right. The bidding process will become more complex and reporting requirements will become more burdensome, the statement said. Rather than helping Americans, these bills will simply drive up the price of doing business and threaten job creation. Here we go again. Hold on, brother. Go ahead. Current law requires public work to be sourced from American producers wherever practical. But the bill would have put tougher limitations on government entities, requiring them to buy any goods from U.S. producers. The measure, which applied to contracts sufficiently large that they must be put out to bid, required government agencies to buy only products of which at least 50% of the cost comes from components mined, produced, or manufactured in the United States. I could dig it, brother. I could dig it. The law would allow local and state governments to buy foreign goods in certain situations, including if the cost of the U.S. produced product is more than 20% higher than a foreign item. Or if, the, if U.S. made products are not available in reasonable quantity. In those situations, however, companies would have to apply for a waiver from the law. Yep. Supporters argued as the bill made its way through the legislature that it would promote investment in the United States and create jobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, people, remember one thing. Of course it won't sink in with you teabaggers. There, there never was, it looked good on paper though, there never was and there never will be, there never is and never will be an actual working trickle-down economics. What we had during Reagan and until now is siphoned up to the top 20%, mostly 1%. Economics, the devil's economics. Siphon up economics. There is no trickle down economics. I call it pistol down economics because they are pissing on the little guy. The real consumer, by the way. So this is what we have. Siphon up economics, never trickling down. This is, happens to be an aquarium siphon for you nincompoops out there that go, Duh, what is that? What is that gadget with the with the red squeeze ball on the end? But we do have some hecklers that try to torment us on the internet. There are no hecklers. I, I had to block them. I had to kick them out. I had to remove his comment and block them. There, there are, are no are hecklers. hecklers. No. What do you mean? There are no hecklers. Did they heckle the content? No, they heckled stupid little uh, nitpicky things. Thank you. There are no hecklers. Well, they you never. You do not pay attention to hecklers. Well, you don't heckle contents. You debate. You rebuttal debate contents. You. How could you heckle the real hard-hitting truth and intellect? What if, what if you had a show? You don't heckle it. What if you had a show and you had an ugly guy doing the news? They, and the hecklers all the time 
cursed him out. He's ugly. He's disgusting. Yeah, get a and hot look. Did not touch the content at all. Get a hot looking chick to do the news, which which they do. They, they the no, point. but You're but missing the, my point. The point is, the point is, he could be like Lionel. He could be a very sharp-witted, very intelligent man. Okay, but if people start making fun of Lionel's brightly colored ties and they get fixated on his brightly colored suits or his haircut or his haircut or, or his, his nose or, hair or his eyeglasses or they see a nose hair sticking out of one of his nostrils they're not focusing on what the man brings to the news station so they have nothing of, uh, of use coming from them and you do no. not listen to hecklers like that. But they're, they're they are worthless. But they're relentless. They try to get under your skin. But that's what it's all about. It's that. The ad hominem attack. It's the other thing. Right. But In other words, they, you, you think they want to see you get pissed off? It's a personal, yes, back and forth thing. It has nothing to do with the show. No, because it totally gets off topic. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. So if you're worried about the show per se, then you don't give them any uh, you know time at all in your brain. Right. But if you're worried about your personal attire, yeah, or you haven't shaved, or some other thing, then well, that's a whole different. Well, if the guy, if 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 the idiot, instead of focusing on the content, if the idiot just says, "Oh, you you guys are boring. You guys are boring. You don't guys are boring. listen." Every every week, every week, every day, you guys are boring. You guys are boring. Well, don't listen to the show. That's correct. There's Why a lot of person listen to a boring show. There's there's tons of stupid ass videos and shows you can listen to. <laughs> you don't have to listen to us. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. That's the what's good about the freedom of uh, of uh, of non uh, uncensorship. You have the freedom to change the channel or turn it off. Press the remote, baby. Press the remote. Or click, or left click on your mouse and depart. Okay. Or hit F4. Is that, what is it? Alt F4. Is Dude. that fire a photon torpedo at Alt you? Alt F4 just takes away the page you're on. Wouldn't it be great if you could fire a photon torpedo at him by pressing your keyboard? Anyway, I digress. That would be death. Oh, yeah. We don't achieve anything by death. No, but uh, uh, remember what Ricardo Montalban said in The Wrath of Khan. Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. But revenge is only for God. Vengeance is mine, says God. Not yours. No right. judgment. Right. You hear that, uh, right-wing fundamentalists, cultists, counterfeit Christians? The ones that want to convert by the sword? <laughs> and, and like Barack Obama made the statement that the, inc the, the, the Inquisition and the Crusades of the past are very similar to slavery and Jim Crow of modern times. Or the, or the radical Muslims. Right. Because that's what the Catholic Church was at that time and etc. You know. I, Converting by the sword, the by torture, the by any method, the, you know. The Jordanians are absolutely yes. furiously livid. Well, they, as, as they should be. But the point is... Did they burn that man to death? In a cage. However, now here's something interesting in juxtaposition. Around the same time, a... What do you call these uh, in, um, you know, like the Dalai Lama, the monks. A monk set himself on fire in a bowl or something like that. What does that prove? Well, I'm, not, I'm just saying, the one instance was coerced, the other one was freely entered into. Well, isn't that the he same? He did it to make a point. Isn't that the same as all those, all those uh, Heaven's Gate fools that committed that drank the committed suicide? You know, Marshall Applewhite's uh, people. 
Well, this is just well, an Jim, example. The Jim Jones uh, poisoning? This is an extreme example of people who believe things that aren't true and guide their lives by them. And, and take you innocent human lives yes. based on that unproven yes. uh, cult. Yes. I'm not going to call it Christianity or, you know, <clears throat> or whatever. It's it's a cult. And uh, and it's alive and well in the United States of America. And so, does, so is uh, a Satan worship alive and well with many big wigs in the United States of America. However, if they truly believe in Satan, they would have to believe in God, who is more powerful than Satan. So why would you even worship him? I don't, think, I don't think they know what the hell they're, they're thinking or doing. <clears throat> There's no logic connected to these people. There's no logic connected to a lot of religion. And, and they on. all just happen to be in these, these southern red state, Bible built states that just happen to have the most poverty of any other regions in the United States are these Republican red states. And so if the Republican ways are the best, if the conservative ways are the best, then why are these states number one in poverty? And uh, 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 everything connected with poverty, and it was also shown by, a, by a, uh, one of my people that uh, subscriptions to gay porn was highest in these, uh, Bible Belt red states of the South. Amazing. Amazing. Say, there's some evidence too that uh, uh, trafficking in uh, slavery and women and etc. Uh, in sex is kind of high in Pakistan. Oh, Muslim countries. Yes. Yeah. Must be a lot of so suppressed horny people. Yeah, but the, but the men can do anything they want. Talk about double standards. The women get stoned to death. The women can't do, can't be... Buried waist high and in stone. They, the women cannot be, um, have any freedom or have any opinions or any rights at all. I mean, uh, it's like, I talk about double standards. But, and, then, uh, but, and then you have the women who go along with it. Yeah, like the Fox News uh, blonde bombshells. Hey, Republicans in the United States, they don't recognize women's rights at no, all. No, but they pretend they do. But then you have fools that come out and say, uh, you know, uh, women don't have a right to really much, should not have a right to much of anything. Well, they didn't until, what, 1920 or so? You know, I'm talking when they got the vote. I'm talking about this ridiculous right to life crap all of Well, that too. Men should control their bodies. What that Jumboloni, that idiot, that, that jerk say on uh, that uh, 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 banging, banging a woman who's unconscious should not be rape. What, a what the hell? What did I put up there? I, I said, that's, that's the, the only, only way. Yeah. That's the only way a Republican can have sex is for the woman yeah, to be was, unconscious. Was, yeah, the woman's got to be unconscious. And, and then I made, a I made a statement that that a Republican, when a Republican, uh, a Republican's w a way of thinking is of an unconscious person. Because they're not conscious means they're brain dead. Exactly. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, but but to say something that stupid publicly, that's what amazes me. But they me. always say stu stupid stuff. Oh, especially boy. about abortion, especially about women, especially about uh, 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 religion, especially about all this kind of crap. I mean, job creators, the rich, and it's all ridiculous. <clears throat> but they get the FaceTime, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But does Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, no. and, and uh, um, you know, Jerry Brown of California, or, or Al Frankenberry, he's Frankenberry because he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't do stick his face in front of the camera every chance he gets with... He really should insist on FaceTime. You know, he was he was all all over the place when he had that syndicated show on Air America and writing all those books. He was all over the place. Well, then you'll see, you'll see a lot of them uh, soon. But it, 
probably won't uh, be uh, you know good stuff that we would want him to do because he'll be up for re-election. Right. You know? But what what is he representing? He's representing uh, is he representing quietude? A um a, a a progressive side of of the Democratic Party, like he silence, like he used to be when he was on a talk show. Is he gonna, is going to represent a progressive, or is he going to represent more of a uh, a moderate um, corporatist Democrat who, who keeps his well, mouth shut? Well, it really doesn't matter because he's quiet. You don't represent nothing if you don't say something. He's like the statue with the three monkeys. And ever since he got elected, that's what it is. You haven't heard anything from him. He's like Sergeant Schultz from Hogan Zero. Say nothing. I see nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. I see nothing. I hear nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So what, what time we got? Time for lunch. All right, and then we got we got more blockbusters here. Um. So what? Uh, what Chris Christie? is trying to do is he's 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 just showing he's more concerned about international affairs than he is about actual well, international business international business because if the if we don't in the United States buy American we ain't gonna get the jobs we ain't gonna get the the money it's gonna go to some international yeah. multinational corporation well, Chris, or, or maybe China maybe China yeah. well he's groomed Christie's grooming himself for 2016 you know that's probably what he's why he's all over the place traveling. Yeah, but why is it why is it considered a, a, a grooming if you are taking something away from Americans? Yeah, right. Well, well maybe taking something away from Americans doesn't include his, him and his rich buddies. Well, it does. Well, it does. That's what the point oh, is. Oh, it does. Oh. Well, of course. He's <laughs> he's not working for some uh, Jumbaloni business in Hackensack, New Jersey. No. He's working for some big multinational. Hey, yeah, well, you're going to get the jobs. You're going to get the bids. You're going to get the money. That's what he's working for. Maybe his biggest concern is himself. Well, I'm sure when you do your little job for these big multinationals. There's something in it for Chris. Ah, the little envelope. There must be something in it for him. That gets pressed into your palm. I mean, look at him. He's he's obese. The uh, the stomach stapling never really worked. The uh, the gastric bypass d does didn't really work. He's he, he, well, he's a glutton, so therefore his personality is that of a glutton. Me me me, I I I, you know, selfishness. You know, that it just shows, you know. Anyway, we're going to break for lunch and then we will be joined by our voiceover uh, artist uh, William H. Morrow the 3rd for his words of wisdom and promo. And we'll be back for the balance of the show. And that's a threat. <laughs> all hecklers. Yes. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the Newsletter Censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen. For the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.
Yeah. All right, we're back. Um, sir. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't. Thank you. All righty, we are back. Thank you very much, William H. Moore the Third, for your your promo and words of wisdom, as always. Um, first show of February 2015. And uh, <clears throat> you know what the average temperature around this area is uh, 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 in, 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 in this uh, early port portion of February? Is it way below normal? We've been way below normal. The whole winter, you mean? Yeah, so far. You mean 2015 has been way below normal? And 2014. It's like an ice age. Well, the temperature should be 40. Really? Yeah. But we're going to have another week of cold. And next weekend, there's going to be a day, another day, which will be down in single digits. Are we going to have a, a snow and ice this that's coming? That's on uh, tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow? Yes. Oh, I better make sure I got plenty uh, I got plenty of uh, food for uh, <clears throat> to make my big Sunday dinner. Well, you better have. I got some I got I got I got oysters, but I want to make um, I want to make oysters. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The other now the other cat that's here. Wednesday, she wanted to go out. I let her out. She may not want. Then to she want to go in. Then she want to go out. Then she want to go in. Then she want to go out. You want to go out? Now you decide to. Now you, this is why I can't. I love to visit cats, but I can never have them because they bust your balls. They bust your freaking. See? Oh, unless you just want to say hi. Right, as soon as I go on the air, you want to no, go, you right. want me to open the door. As soon as, I, as soon as I go on the air, son of a bitch. You know, all you cat lovers out there, you know, I play with them. They're cute as hell, but you know what? There's no fucking way I can own them. Go ahead. Hey. Just now, just now, when, when I'm ready to, uh, when I'm doing the show, she, she, couldn't do, she couldn't do it before during lunchtime. No. Motherfucker. Of course not. No, 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 not during lunch. You had all the time in the world to fucking bother me to go outside during lunch. Probably messed up the whole background for Christ's sakes. Fuck them. You know what? Fuck it. They're cats. Let them fucking wait. The show comes first. Go ahead. I'm pissed, I wasn't man. saying nothing. I wasn't saying nothing. No, but I would have heard. Go I, it, I go through it every day. Yeah, but you're you 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 don't have a camera going. Camera I know, a camera but person I go rolling it every day. And and, and they want to go in and out at at the wrong times, like like when you're like fast asleep or something. Or I could be here on the computer. In, in, in engaging in a very uh, 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 game of chess that's only lasting 15 minutes no. and I have to take two minutes to get up and, and open the door and this that and the other thing. He's uh, uh, you know? Reverend Dr. Bill is a is a tournament caliber chess player. He's a chess enthusiast but he plays these chess games that are timed if somebody, if, if somebody rushes me, you know what I got to say to them? If somebody rushes me, here, I got a big itch in the middle of my forehead. I move the fucking chess piece when I'm ready to move the chess piece. And you can take that to the bank. Uh, who was that? You know, I'll if, body slam. If, if, if games were not timed, the, that's exactly what would happen. You'd have a game lasting a week. I'm not ready to move the chess piece. You know? All right. A uh, uh, chess referee or whatever the hell they call them. The chess. What do they call the jabroni that uh, uh, oversees the chess tournament? Chess umpire? Tournament director. A body slam right through the table. That wouldn't win a game. I'm just in a just in a lousy mood because I had I had a ruffle my 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 show background because of the goddamn cat. 
All right. I'm putting these glasses on. Let us presume. The cat already the cat, sucked cat. sucked up half a friggin' reading from the show. Uh, recently, House Republicans voted for the 56th time, 56, 56, to repeal Obamacare. What do they care if, if the, hold on, what do they care if the poor have health coverage or not? They don't give a shit. They're rich. Where's their plan? Yeah, where is their health plan for America, health care plan? They want to repeal it, but do they have a, 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 a good replacement for Obamacare? Lots of people, a lot of Many low-income people are very happy with their Obamacare. How come they never say anything about improving it? If they have a problem with and it. And why? Why don't they improve it? Why doesn't President Obama or any of the Democrats there in Washington call them out on this, this uh, repealing of Obamacare, saying you want to repeal it? Many poor people have health coverage that they never had before. What is your replacement? I want to know right now on C-SPAN, the cameras are rolling. Republican Party, Turtle Face, Mitch McConnell, the Joker from Batman, John Boner, Bader. What is your replacement for Obamacare right now? Do you have a, re a solution or do, or do the poor just die in, in, outside the hospital? They're just playing games. For what, what, are, what are the poor going to do when they get sick? What is your solution? They don't care. Nobody says this. It's the same thing about abortion. The embryo and the fetus, they'll protect from now until doomsday. But once that baby's born, we wash our hands of it. Yes, that is true. And like I said before, and I think you, t you originally told me or somebody... A fertilized chicken egg is not a chicken. Therefore, a fertilized well, human I, egg is not a human. Don't don't say it that way. Because that only antagonizes them more. What you've got to say is... I don't care about antagonizing. Question, is a fertilized chicken egg a chicken? They have to answer that question. In other words, instead of instead of giving them statements, put it into a question. Sometimes. Just Sometimes. like the time Ginger Snaps over on our Facebook group was insisting that because she has a relative that uh, runs an employment agency, there's tons of American jobs just rolling in every week. There's tons of American jobs. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Well, if there's tons of American jobs, how come all the jobs that I see require uh, not only degree, college degrees and certification, training, whatever, but they also require lots of years of experience. Employers in America want five plus years or, or more experience with the degree. How many people that are uh, out of work have these qualifications? Well, Not that a lot many. Of people are out of work with those qualifications. Right. So Ginger snaps, blabbing her fucking red-headed mouth, saying there's plenty of jobs out there. She's full of shit, right? Of course. We will be there in a moment. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting a different outcome is, by the de definition, insanity. Or in this case, playing to the base. Since Republicans have recently discovered the middle class, <laughs> perhaps they should concentrate. That's 2016's coming. That's right. On improving the law for 10 million of their constituents. Case in point, I, I renewed my health insurance policy under the 
Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, for 2015. With relative ease. Choosing to maintain the same policy. The Federal Health Care Exchange advised me that my portion of the monthly premium would be increased. I could have opted for a new plan, but felt my portion was affordable. I also received a call from the insurance company regarding renewal. And I said I was satisfied with my current plan and would be keeping it as it is. Shortly thereafter, I received my new card, much to my chagrin, noticed my deductible had gone from $300 to $1,300. I was advised that was the new deductible period. I was pushed off to the health care exchange, but that just didn't add up. The exchange unfortunately doesn't set or regulate rates for health insurance plans. It appears to me, although the ACA has generated about 10 million more customers for the all-powerful insurance industry, it's just not enough. Yeah. With this type of bargaining power, why not negotiate prices? Because in this America, the free markets trump the greater good, and sadly, greed is still the king. Well, that's obvious, obvious with that uh, first reading we had about uh, consumer fraud. Greed is still the king. Well, that's, I think capitalism and greed go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah. Or is it just the... Uh, conservative version of crony capitalism goes hand in hand with no, capitalism itself is set out to benefit only certain people at the top right that's its whole that's how it works what about this okay? what about the fairy tale of the american dream of 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 of, of going from rags to riches like a stupid song from the old days what they have they have to give you fantasy you mean to to pacify you? Yeah. To Otherwise, you. you may, you may go to become a communist or a socialist or revolt. You know? Yeah, they're all fantasies. They're all fantasies about owning your own home. You you own the home, but you don't own, own the property. You really, you really do not have that many perks in owning your own home really you know for, for those that are homeowners it's not easy but um, it's all bullshit the jobs are not out there the opportunities are few and far between and uh, the laws are the system is rigged for the top 20 percent period that's it Right, because right. capitalism is right in the title. Capitalism. Capitalism. Capital equals money. Money, profit. So therefore, who's going to benefit from capitalism? People who have capital. Hey. Money. And and the reason why they're bashing two two segments of life that should be rights and not uh, privileges, education and healthcare. They bash that, saying that it doesn't work, and, and you know they, they want education and healthcare to, re, to to be privatized. Meanwhile, Northern Europe is things couldn't be better over there in Northern Europe. Free education, free healthcare, and uh, uh, Republicans are they bash it, but they don't have a reason for why. But those people over there are socialists. But they're happy. Oh, dare we become socialists in America? You know what they do over there? They tax the rich. They're socialists. So? It's just a word. So, well, who, who demonized the word? Originally? Over here, they don't want to be socialists. They want to be capitalists. They want to be. They want to continue 
you def uh, benefiting the top 20%? They want it because yes, they, those in charge. these are the ones that have. You mean the rich people? Yeah. Not the have-nots, yeah. the haves. Yeah. Of course the haves are greedy bastards that don't want to pay uh, taxes and uh, help the poor and all that. I mean because they, they generally, they suck. All the CEOs of the United States are wicked and greedy. You know, I mean, you're John Bra uh, Brabeck of Nestle's, you're uh, the Walton family of Walmart, the uh, Bill Gates trying to come off as Mr. Magnanimous. Meanwhile, it slipped out about something about depopulation in one of his interviews. He's in favor of it, or he acknowledges it, or, you know, and he's, he's uh, pushing uh, vaccines. Now, Jamie Oliver is kind of like making nice, nice with Monsanto's GMOs and all this shit. All these people are selling out. Oprah, too. Oprah Winfrey selling out. What if I mention anything? Then the uh, the famous progressive liberals out there, like one in particular, says I'm being negative. I'm being toxic. I think you're going to be a warrior. You're going to be a progressive warrior. Uh, let me just grow a titanium spine to be a fucking progressive warrior. Please. I don't think the founding fathers. We're too kind to George the Third. Very and his red coat. Isn't it kind of similar to what we have now? Okay. George the Third was just a greedy fuck that wanted to well, raise taxes yeah. on the colonists. Yeah, because they because why? Because they were colonists. <laughs> because he the, the royal family were they, they were better than everyone else. The Empire. Yeah. Wanted the resources of America and the Caribbean and everything. Right. So, well, what do you think? You get a, sometimes you get a you get a pushback. Listen, when you push people too far, sometimes you get a pushback. The uh, the the old movie Mutiny on a Bounty with uh, Charles Lawton playing Captain Bly. He he his orders of. Uh, sailing to Tahiti to bring the breadfruit back to Jamaica as quote-unquote fodder for the slaves because they considered slaves like livestock yeah to feed the slaves Shadow. breadfruit which you know meant that they would have to eat breadfruit every friggin day it came from the King of England because that's what he wanted because the slave trade was exploitation to to make money for the royal family of England, they hoarded everything. Right. The, the and, king. And basically, at its basis, what is slavery doing? It's you're exploit you're exploiting human beings for your monetary gain. You don't pay them. Does that sound familiar? Uh, about unions and minimum wage and, and, and etc. And you don't want to pay them. And privatized prisons uh, built right. by corporations. Exactly. And, and Republicans being anti-minimum uh, uh, wage and anti-union. You because don't, you want, don't to want to pay. pay them because you're so greedy that you don't want to pay anybody. Because you're greedy. You and want more and more and more and more, and more. You're protecting your haves. You see. Well, the haves are paying you to protect them. Yes, they are, aren't they? So they are. So these. We call them lobbyists. The world calls them. Corruption. Corruption. Thank you. I'm sure your your people like Joni Ernst are bought and and paid for a long time ago. And she's just doing the bidding of the people who give her money, and so is Mitch McConnell and all the others. They're just doing the bidding of those that give them money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but um, to 
unfortunately to some of our people, especially the ultra liberal, you can't call them a corporate whore. That's too harsh. Oh, I'm being too negative. I'm being toxic. Give me a break. That's what they are. If Oprah's is is pl making nice nice with Monsanto and Jamie Oliver's making nice nice with Monsanto. What else do you want to call that? You're a you are doing the bidding of corporations that are that are paying you, and you are you are you are sucking up to them. You are a sycophant. You are a sycophant, but. Uh, because of the negativity connected with you being a sycophant to corporations, that makes you a corporate whore. That's what I call them. But because I said, not because I said corporate, because I said whore, mm -hmm. that upset some of the famous well, ultra liberals in the media. When you tell the truth, you will have detractors. Oh, okay. you'll be attacked. Oh, so you'll you always be attacked. The, yeah. If you don't have the titanium spine, right? The deal with that, then now I'm know, talking about our own. It ain't gonna stop. I'm talking about our own people. Yes. Going against us by being too harsh. So what do you want to do? Why do you think you want to negotiate with evil? Well, what do you think Obama tried for six years to negotiate with evil? Yeah. And, and Nancy Pelosi. Bipartisanship. Every, every other word out of Nancy Pelosi's mouth was bipartisanship. <laughs> Obama, bipartisanship. Oh, bipartisanship. We understand that nothing is going to get done in our government without compromise. Okay? But the people will but lose. But if you're going to compromise to the other person who says, uh, I'm not going to compromise, uh, you're going to do things my way or it's the highway. Now that's it's not a compromise, is it? No, it takes two people. That's not bipartisanship, no, is it? It takes two sides. That's correct. But it's only one side. You'll do what I say, right. and that's it. So, so or we won't, we won't compromise. So if you wanted a uh, um, single-payer universal health care for all people right. and take care of the poor, and the other side says, no way under no circumstances. None, none. How is how is it how, how do you expect compromising to take place? It ain't gonna. It's not gonna happen. That's right. You know, I mean, you want something for the good of the the poor and mainstream. They don't care about the poor and mainstream. Where does the bipartisanship come in? It's just the same as the embryo and the fetus and the born baby. They love the embryo. They love the fetus. When the baby's born, they wash their hands of it. It's as simple as that. They are hypocrites. They are bastards. They are whores. Call them anything they want. You want. They are them things. But unfortunately, their people are so wedded to these people speaking for themselves. And like I've always said, they'll never vote for a Democrat. They are baby killers. Oh, so yeah. where are they going to go? So if I'm if I'm making an omelet out of fertilized eggs, I'm a chicken killer. That's right. It, well, I'm sure vegans feel that way. It's equal. It's equal. It's equal. Uh, uh, fertilized duck egg, fertilized chicken egg, fertilized uh, uh, ostrich egg, fertilized human egg. None of them are human. Are babies and birds. None of them. At best, they are potential. That's it. Yes. At best. If you leave them alone, they are potential birds and babies. Yeah. Humans, you know. Same with a human. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah, so, you know, uh, uh, um. But when you love the embryo and the fetus, you don't like the rights of the woman. See? So many. So you're in, a, you know, you're in so a many, uh, catch twenty two. So many contradictory, so yeah. much hypocrisy when you're dealing with the, the right wing, and plus you're dealing with flat out stupidity because, they constantly make asinine, illogical, stupid statements all the time. Don't let scientists tell them anything. 
They don't want to hear that. So the, the laughing stock, United States laughing stock of the world is getting worse. You know, I mean, uh, 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 you, 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 they want, they turn their back on scientists. They turn their back on NASA. The Republicans don't. Well, what do they want to do? They want to go back to th uh, uh, when the Catholic Church was saying the world is flat. They want to go back to those days. Yeah, there's some idiot uh, Republican who believes the world is flat. They don't want to agree with any scientists. They don't like progress. Because this progress might very well mean uh, uh, a, a, a government spending. <gasps> so they are so obsessed with shrinking government in the right places. Cause in, you know. Yeah, oh no, the military. Oh, no, military, no! The military, oh, it's fine to spend lots of money on it and waste lots of money on the military on planes that they have no intention of using. That's okay. But NASA and all these other uh, 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 scientists working on the uh, uh, global warming, the climate change, all these other things cost money and they want to shrink government down to nothing. Helping the poor cost money, so but they're but they like the military because then they get to go and steal other people's oil, and 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 uh, contra <coughs> military contractors for uh, war profiteering. That is where they are job producers for the private contractors for North, uh, Was it Northrop Grumman who made the F thirty five? A lot of people got paid there. Well, I know, I know there was a that piece of shit. there was competition between uh, Boeing and uh, Lockheed. Uh, Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin. Okay. For a a more inexpensive fixed wing aircraft fighter, whatever, and and Lockheed won the contract, and they competed for it, but. There are many weapons that that just don't get used. They they end up in the boneyard. Of course. And and we're talking about an enormous amount of money that could very easily feed all, all the homeless and help and, and and give plenty of food stamps to the poor, you know, and help the veterans and all that. I mean, plenty of money from the military budget. Some idiot uh, up on Facebook a while uh, a couple of days ago. When somebody was saying the military budget is the biggest part of the budget. Oh no, the military is only like five hundred and fifty billion dollars. No, it ain't bad. Why did they get that? It's figure? well over a trillion. Why did they get? When what? you add up all the shit. Well, one jabroni says uh, instead of cutting and and touching social security, they should cut welfare. And I says, what do you mean welfare? Welfare for the poor or or subsidies? for the rich. They should definitely end all subsidies for the rich, not give them one penny. Why would companies and people who are doing well need subsidies? Yeah. Why must they always cut help for the poor like that was that was sucking up a lot of money? Yeah. No, it's not sucking up a lot of money compared to to the military. Yeah, and, but they're lazy. And they're the getting something for nothing. What about lazy uh, corporate CEOs that are getting uh, billions of dollars a year for nothing? That's okay. Because they cost of doing business. Because they're they're getting bribes from them yeah, CEOs. Yeah. That's where the money comes from. Yeah. Interesting. As the U.S. economy has steadily recovered from. The Great Recession. Yeah. The critical missing piece has been a painful lack of pay increases mm -hmm. for many Americans. Right. Their pain may be easy. Friday's jobs report signaled that raises. Go ahead. Have finally begun to flow. Thru economy in which, once you factor in inflation, most people earn less than when the downturn struck 
in 2007. The average hourly wage jumped 0.5% between December and January. The sharpest monthly gain since 2008. The average has now risen to 0.2% over the past 12 months to $24.75 Comfortably, comfortably above inflation. Private sector wages rose 2.6% in New York metropolitan area in 2014, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, higher than the national pace and above the rate seen in the last several years in this region. America is really getting back to work! And that's the first step to getting better paychecks said Tara Sinclair, chief economist at the job posting site Indeed.com. The pace of hiring has accelerated. 34% since 2013. That growth has reduced the number of job seekers and made it harder for employers to find talented employees. Forcing employers to increase pay, best worker. The unemployment rate rose last month to 5.7% from 5.6%. But that occurred for a good reason. More than 700,000 Americans, the most in six years, began looking for jobs. Employ have added 3.2 million jobs over the last 12 months. Last year was the first year since 1997 that the private sector added more than 3 million jobs. If we maintain that pace, you get the wage increases that come when labor markets tighten. It's going to be harder for companies to find the exact skills they need and workers who have skills are going to be able to be very choosy. Employers are going to start to have to increase wages to attract employees. Where are these wages going to be increased? In India, perhaps? In China? I doubt wages it. are especially likely to rise for people with information technology and analytical skills. Information technology, not in the United States. They're, they're all outsourced. Well, that's what I said. So, First of all, they go to India, go to China, Bangladesh, you know, uh, Thailand, whatever. And they hire some skilled... Uh, Out of, like, India's Institute of... Yeah, technology. Technology, whatever. Or whatever. They some put, big, you know, uh, yeah. some big uh, degree over there. Big university. And then they pay them shit. Microsoft did it. They, they had a show on 60 Minutes bragging about uh, how great the uh, the IT people were in India and they, they they hired many of them because they were so impressive. No, you, you hired many of them because they work much cheaper than the American IT employees. That is correct. 
that's why you're hot. But that, oh no, 60 minutes though, 60 minutes just goes along with it and plays ball with them and doesn't call them out. And then it just, it just seems like we hire them because they're the best. No, they don't mention the fact that they work much cheaper. And they're exploiting those IT people from India. Of course. But that never comes out. That is exploitation. That never comes out in the American mainstream media. Because capitalism is akin to God, Mom, Chevrolet, and Apple Pie. Isn't that a delusion? Of course it's a delusion. But that delusion is combined with all those things. That's like me. So you can't say anything bad about that. I, ju I just did. Well, don't you dare. I don't care. Don't you dare. It's the truth. Why are you playing devil's advocate now? Because I'm playing how the society works. Society is living a lie. Okay. Now here's the thing. Mr. James McDonald. Right. Believe society is living a lie. Yes. American society. So he goes out there on the street with his six gun. And he's gonna plug a few holes in, in that society. Figure. Whatever. And when James gets out there, looks around. Jesus is all alone. Because all, all these people are, that society. are spineless pussies. That's correct. People don't want to get together and work as a That's team. That's correct. So, when you are a truth teller, you must pick your battles. You cannot be drawn into the street alone. Well, because it, you will be picked off by an American sniper. I don't rattle that that easily, sir. Now who's living the delusion? Listen, <laughs> if I if I I'm not going to lie to you. I, uh, the title of this show is going to contain something very similar to, you know. Uh, explaining just how rotten American CEOs are because I hate their guts. I'm just telling you right now, it's going to contain that. Because I hate. But it's more than CEOs. I hate the it's look. It's the society I just told you. The society is brainwashed. The society is corrupt, totally. The, uh, the system, yes. Yeah. The system is corrupt. When we talk, when we talk about two-party system, yeah, and we talk, talk about uh, you know, Republicans and Democrats. We talk about crony capitalism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's corrupt. Uh, when I tell when I tell people you got to stop thinking two-party system and you got to start thinking progressive, independent. That's another true statement. Did you ever see the movie Walking Tall? Buford Pusser? Buford Pusser. Right. Buford Pusser was a truth teller, et cetera, et cetera. What happened to him in the end? Well, he was, he was up against a, a bunch of... Uh, my point entirely. He was up against the total corruption of the Southern... He was in the wrong... He was in the wrong region. Yeah, He's but what happens when the whole region of your state, your, your country, is that way? And you're all by yourself. There you go. Well, I he, listen. My my co-host and mentor can say what he wants, but I will not become a liberal. Uh, not Pollyanna. Now Pollyanna would be inaccurate. It's something else. Uh, a, po a Pollyanna just blows sunshine like Barney the Dinosaur. No, it's not Pollyanna. Nobody, it's, uh, nobody is saying that. Like, 
like a, a what non is being said is liberals have to become militant if they are a group yes don't you hear what I'm saying right like like you can't do it alone like let's say let's say we're talking think if Mahatma Gandhi went up against the great Britain of today he would have been able to do what he did back then to chase Britain out of India? Well, his timing was... Exactly. Was better. No, I'm saying... But he would have been sniped out and that was it. You had... If you have a, a viable progressive uh, independent team that stands a chance like a Bernie Sanders with Jesse Ventura with Ralph Nader, something like that. If you had that, have that, there's an excellent chance. But if it's uh, some Joe Palooka independent progressive, he's not getting invited to the debates. Nobody's going to get to know him. Nobody's going to know him. He's just going to be some some name that's all the way to the far right of the of the voting booth. You know, some uh, that nobody knows anything about. And forget it. It's going to be a waste of a vote. Yeah, so I, but there has to be. How do you change that? There has to be. Everything has to work <clears throat> in favor. Well, you don't change that out in the street with your six gun alone. I never said I was going to be a fool. Uh, all right then. But if somebody says something stupid on the group. Of that's course, different. I'm going to answer them. You know, that's different. I'm talking when, I'm talking when the, uh, when the, uh, what's the saying? When the chips uh, fall where they may, or whatever. When the chips are down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, you got the if somebody uh, does an article on. CEO, CEO of Nestle's who wants to control the world's supply of drinking water and he shows his douchebag looking face you know and uh, it's, it's like uh, it's like the ultimate in arrogance because you're talking about the world's supply of drinking water I mean hundreds of millions of years living creatures have enjoyed pure drinking water Water. Now, yeah. this one man who's playing God, Peter Brabeck, wants to play God and say no and privatize it all. Of course, I'm going to like curse him out. Yeah, but the problem is the problem him, or is the problem why he can get away with that? Why, why he can get away with that? Thank you. So no, that's the point. In other words, corporate. So if you're going to, yeah. if you're going to just curse him out or say he's got a mustache and all this stuff. That don't mean anything because you're not touching the problem. The problem is a system that allows these people yeah. to do what they do. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Though, though the nation as a whole recovered all the jobs in the recession last March, mm -hmm. I take issue with that. Mm-hmm. I take issue with that, that those jobs that were lost in 2007, 2008, ain't never coming back. And the people who are not counted anymore on the unemployment rolls because they can't find a job. No. So we didn't recover all those jobs, did we? The jobs are just not out there. If, if people with uh, impressive resumes and, and, and PhDs and master's That's degrees right. and, you know, bachelor's degree, I, I mean, this is not counting the student loans that that probably never pay back. If they can't find a job. And the banks just love that. You mean when you owe student loan forever? That's correct, forever. Like, in other words, if you can only pay off the interest and, and the principal stay, and you owe the same amount of money. Over and over, over and over again. Yeah. New Jersey! 
has only regained 60% of the jobs it lost. Oh. Some economists note that pay figures tend to be volatile from month to month, and that January's increase nationwide might be unsustainable. Right. Part of the increase came from the fact that 20 states, including New Jersey, raised their minimum wages on January to 1. That's right. See, it was a, it was a, a what do they call it, a, 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 a bookkeeping trick. Well, you know, Seattle, Los Angeles, uh, yeah, there are certain parts of the nation who raised it to like $15 an hour. Yeah. Still. Well, each additional job increases the number of paychecks in the United States, which drives greater consumer spending, and that tends to fuel further hiring and higher wages. Right. Ford Motor Company has announced that up to 500 of its lowest paid factory workers will receive a 48% raise to $28.50 an hour. Only 20% of its employees can be in the lowest tier. So Ford had to raise wages to hire 1,550 workers to make pickup trucks in Missouri and Michigan. Other major companies, including Aetna, the Gap have also announced pay increases. The accelerating job and pay growth make it more likely that the Federal Reserve will begin raising the benchmark short-term interest rate by mid-year. Many Americans have yet to enjoy pay bumps regardless of a tightening labor what was that word? Pay bumps? Pay bump. bump. St stop talking like bump. Sylvester from uh, Tweety Bird. No. I couldn't understand Sylvester you. To Sylvester would do that on S's. I don't know. I don't know what you meant. You, you said pay, pay bumps. I, I don't know what you meant. You said, you know, just say bumps because the people out there might not know. Then they should find out. Bumps. Bumps. What the hell is a bump? Bumps. Alright. I don't see anybody who watches Fox News and hears Megan Kelly say this, that, and the other thing, or Brett Bear or something. Right. Or Neil Cavuto or Hannity or just any of it. Question it. I don't see any of that. Right. Bumps, humps, bumps, lumps, lumps. I don't hear any of that. They just accept what was said and make believe, make believe they understood it. Whoever was trying to contact me before, during my show, I'm going to wring their neck like a, like a Thanksgiving turkey when I get all of them. People have to learn respect when I'm on the air. Was that your phone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they really have to learn some fucking respect. Can't you shut it off? I try to. It won't shut off. You mean like as in completely shut off? I, well, what I, about the ringer? Is that on its own or it's on the 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 uh, the, the, uh, the audio? The point is, if I shut it off. There has to be a way of completely shutting it off. Yes, there has to be, but I don't know. And, and, and the off button, it goes off, but oh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to really shut it off. Like, I don't want to be bothered. You know what I mean? What I'm asking is, if you turn the volume down, would that turn the ringer down? Yeah, but I'll still hear the fucking thing. I'll still hear well, the then thing. it don't turn the ringer down. It doesn't, it, it, it's a piece of shit. I mean, 
it works, but I want I don't want to be bothered. I want to shut it off. I should call customer service and find out yeah, how do you shut this thing off besides using a sledgehammer. Many Americans have yet to enjoy pay bumps regardless of a tightening labor pull. The wage figures from the Labor Department are averages, so even when the averages improve, millions of workers continue to endure stagnant incomes and rising expenses. For example, in the mining and logging sector of the economy, which has been pummeled by plunging oil prices, average wages actually fell in December. Economists also note that average wages can gyrate from month to month. Wages had dipped in December. Leading Dean Baker of the Liberal Center for Economic Policy and Research to conclude that there's no real evidence of accelerating pay. Wages generally rise at an annual pace of more than 3% in a healthy economy. The year-over-year -year average wage increase of 2.2% can feel a lot better than it might sound, given today's historically low inflation. Low inflation? Why do we have higher prices if we have lower inflation? Keeps on going up, up, up. The price of meat, the price of milk, the price of penis, the price of this, Everything. the price of that, Everything. up and up and up, and yet we have historically low inflation. It's a lie. Don't understand it, unless it is a lie. Because of sinking prices at the gasoline pump, consumer prices have edged up just 0.8 percent mm. over the past 12 months. That means wages have risen a solid, solid, solid 1.4 percent after inflation. That's a step in the right direction, mm -hmm. said Bill Hample. Hample stressed that job growth must continue at the current solid rate for a couple of more years to make up for the plunge in incomes that accompanied the recession and persisted most of a five and a half year old recovery. Yeah. And Doug Duncan, <laughs> the chief economist. Doug Duncan. For the mortgage finance giant Fannie Mae said the jobs report supports Fannie Mae's expectation that stronger hiring and firming income growth will be primary catalysts for a faster pace of housing recovery yeah, more, in 2015. More, more corporate bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. All, all, all hot air from CEOs. Uh, so that's it. I, I would say that, that's it for this week. Uh, you got a uh, a quick uh, psychological... Uh, no, um, I got it. Um, what do you got? Oil company. Dump in California aquifers. Oh, oh, oh. Dumping their shit in our pure, fresh water. In California? In California. Does Jerry Brown know about this? I'm sure he does.
the uh, the, the, the progressive liberal moonbeam Jerry Brown is letting this happen? And maybe you should read this one as a last... 46 were... Yes, Jerry Brown has allowed it to happen. Oh, yeah, another, another sellout uh, so-called liberal. Shame on you, Jerry Brown. Go ahead, read it. Regulators in California, the country's third largest oil producing state, have authorized oil companies to inject production fluids and waste into what are now federally protected aquifers. Federally protected, huh? There, there's your federal government uh, agency trust there. That's for why the, 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 the Republicans don't want the government to own anything. They want private industry to own it all. They want to, listen, I'm sure deep down they know that dumping toxins in the environment eventually does not, it, it will not be diluted. It, it, it will be polluted. And uh, this well, is the obsession of their greed. So with our hand, watch the money that is dumped into it. You know? Yeah. Will eventually become polluted. Yes. More than 2,500 times. Risking contamination of underground water supplies that could be used for drinking water or irrigation while the permits go back decades an analysis found that nearly half of those injection wells 46 percent were approved or began injections in the last four years under the governor jerry brown you go another Democrat. First Hillary Clinton and jumps in bed with Monsanto, and uh, uh, and then uh, was it John Kerry says, "Oh, there's nothing I can do about outsourcing." And now Jerry Brown and um, other Democrats. What is it? Dodd and Baucus say no to uh, single payer universal health care back then. So there's a lot of sellout Democrats. No shit. Corporatist Democrats. Bill Clinton signs away Glass Steagall when he was in. So it goes on and, and on. And welfare as we know it, please. Important program changes under Bill Clinton. Welfare as we know it. Went bye bye. Went bye bye. And uh, all the wonderful job growth we had were pretty much hamburger flipping jobs. Minimum wage, which we, which Republicans probably consider job creation in America. You know, all the minimum wage jobs, they probably consider that good. And a livable wage. It's a livable wage. Yeah, that's what Joni Ernst says. Uh, uh, two, uh, a married couple both making minimum wage can live adequately. Jerry Brown, who pushed state oil and gas regulators to speed up the permitting process. That happened despite, <coughs> excuse me, growing warnings from the EPA since 2011 that state regulators were out of compliance with federal laws meant to protect underground drinking water from oil field contamination. In California, we need a big course correction. We need to get the system back in compliance, said Jared Blumenfield, fell regional administrator for the EPA. Californians expect their water is not being polluted by oil producers. 
the injections are convenient for oil companies because drilling brings up 13 gallons of wastewater for every gallon of petroleum. One of the easiest disposable methods is simply to send that wastewater back underground. is destroying the planet because of capitalism. Profit before people on the planet. And, uh, I mean, if you had a system like they have in Northern Europe that is a very fair system, you could still um, go into business and build your business to be very successful but if you if it becomes successful and you become rich off your business you have to pay your fair share in taxes that's all that's all you make more money you pay more taxes uh, uh, but you know you don't have to say bye-bye to capitalism completely I mean, we're not we're not saying that I am well, what would you call? Well, do, it, aren't there aren't there companies in Scandinavia that that flourish that exist? Yeah, but I don't. And they pay their taxes, right? There's another economic system which is better. So why would I be satisfied with capitalism? That's my point. Well, you talking sure about? Sure, it can be made to work a little fairer. You talking about God's economics? Correct. But that's. The, that's based on Christianity. We, we have no proof. It's not based on Christianity. It's based on being kind to people. Well, I, I mean... It's what, based on give. What, they, what, they're doing, get. what they're doing in Scandinavia is very, is, is very similar to that. No, it isn't. Sure it is. No, it isn't. You can go does to... Every, go, does every person in Scandinavia own their own piece of land? Well, no. That they can never lose? No, but they can go that to... if they, they sell it after they, every 50 they, years, it comes back to them? They can go to a university or a doctor for free. Well, that's only one little thing. Yeah, I see where you're going. All you're this. doing is changing the system around the edges there, that way. Well, I'm talking about... I'm, 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 I'm saying trash. I'm it. talking about something you can aim for realistically in the United States instead of just allowing everything to be destroyed waiting for Christ's second return. What the hell does that have to do with God's economics versus capitalism? Talk to Washington. Wait to Jesus return. Talk to Washington about God's economics. They're not going to listen. You don't have to call it God's economics. It's just a fairer way of dealing with people. Well, it's the way progressives look at it's a give way of life. It's like the way progressives look at government and life is very similar to Northern Europe, to Scandinavia. Fine. But Northern Europe does not have it all proper. Well, you're okay? right about that. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about a more totally fair and beautiful way of life. Right. Well, first got to stop the corruption. And the yeah. way to do that is you got to get the money out of politics. Yeah. You got to change the system. Yeah. All right. Priorities. Well, those three things priorities, right? Priorities first. Okay. I mean, those are the main priorities. Now, once you do that, then the environment and helping the poor and helping the veterans and all, and, and and human rights and all that jazz, it all falls into place. But you gotta you gotta get the the crud crap and clean out the barn first. Well, it's like if you buy a house. Right. You gotta clean it up before you move in. And if you want to sell the house, you gotta make it spiffy too. Yeah, well, today, you know what they do? They just put the little curbside stuff on the house so that it looks nice. Well, they could say buy as is. Well, you could still have holes in the roof. Handyman special. Yeah. Buy as is. With a car, well, of course you, of course you always have people that want 
more for less. If you say buyers is, they want the world. You know what? I noticed something, Dr. Bill, is people have trouble listening and really focusing. No. They, they don't read ads. They don't read profiles. They don't hear your words verbatim. They have a, a great deal of problem focusing and listening. Like it's like a, like a bunch of Sarah Palin's walking around. You know why? Because Numbers they have their own thoughts in their own head, and they trump what they're hearing. Because they're being selfish. They want to put, they want to put their stamp on everything. Now, if somebody is very well read, very smart, and they, they but they're willing to shut up and listen to the other opinion and hear the other person out, and then they could decide whether or not they want to compromise or change their mind, that's okay. But when you have somebody that don't listen and puts words in your mouth, and, and you know, it, it, I mean, how many times on Holistic Health Talk Facebook group that I put down, please people, members, don't upload duplicate posts. Like, it's almost like spamming, you know, the same thing, you're uploading it and you're cluttering up the, the group's album and, you know, it's the same post. Buy my book, buy my book, buy my book, buy. And I tell the person and one person gets back to me and says, no problem, James, I'll take care of it. Well, guess what? The, 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 the duplicate uploads is still there. Now I have to start getting rid of members. And now I'm going to be the meanie. The big meanie that, that, that's terminating members. Well, if you listen to me at the beginning, I wouldn't have to terminate memberships. You know what I mean? It's like people have this, this hard-headed problem with focusing and listening you don't have to agree with me but at least listen that's it you know you know it's like, like again like i say it's it's their ego and they their thoughts have to trump your thoughts yeah didn't you place it before in, you yeah. before you change repent whatever you want to call it you contemplate you have to sit there you got to Maybe, maybe this you guy. Admit, maybe you're wrong. Maybe this guy has something. Yeah. There. Didn't you place a, a automotive ad on Craigslist and you put down buy as is? Well, and, yeah, of course. And, and then people were asking you a thousand and one questions, and they want, you know, yeah. they, 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 it's like, hey man, you see the car, you see the the, the year of the car, the model. I'm telling you, was it was it needs work. The price. Well, no. Well, basically, I s indicated that I would sell to someone only who was interested in restoring it. So obviously, that meant as is. Then you, then you had people who were not into the exactly. into the investment of the old, old car. They wanted a car for using every day, Run like around that, town. like the jabroni that wanted to buy the car for his son. Yeah, they run around it's town. not that kind of vehicle. No. It, it needs a lot of work. That was the Ford, right? The Ford uh, Mustang. Must too. Mustang. Right, 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 right. They yeah. don't freaking read and, yeah, and focus on the ad. They don't listen. Yeah. And this is your average American today. So anyway, thank you for joining us for this week's Uncensored Heart Hitting Truth. And uh, you think ISIS re listens to another opinion? Not really. <laughs> of course not. Do you think the uh, do you think the Roman Catholic Church does? Do you think the T publicans listen to no. other people's no. opinion? You think you think uh, they care the GOP? No. Well, there you go. All right, I say good night to these jabronis. Good night, jabroni. Hi you. Da, 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 da. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.